Welcome to Megasquirt Training Part 38. In this video, we're going to be taking a further look at our Megalog Viewer software. We're going to have a lot to learn, so let's get started. Okay, so let's jump into this video and talk about working with our Megalog Viewer software. So in our previous video, we had an introduction to the Megalog Viewer software, learn how to download it, we learn how to go in and open it up and create our custom page layouts. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you a Megasquirt 3 based data log that has a lot more channels, we're going to explore some of the features of our Megalog Viewer software, going in and changing how many graphs and traces, or using the VE Analyze feature, or being able to go in and play back data logs and be able to precisely tune our field tables, as well as taking a look at some other features such as a drag race time stamping that's going to allow us to pinpoint our 60 foot, our eighth mile, and our quarter mile into our data logs. There's going to be a lot to cover. So let's jump into the video so we can check out all these awesome features. Okay, so let's get started here. We're gonna be taking a look at our Megalog viewer here a little bit more extensively, checking out what we're gonna see when we open up a Megasquirt 3 data log, as well as taking a look at some more features and functions of the software. So let's jump into File, let's jump into Open, and now we're gonna be opening a Megasquirt 3 data log. So I'm gonna go here and click this Watt uh, file here I have in a folder that was associated with a Megasquirt 3 application. It was actually a DIY plug and play uh, Megasquirt box um, that was a Megasquirt 3. Let's click open here and give it a second. And now we can find that the data log is going to open. So we can see at the top here all of our pages are still there that we've created in that previous video. You probably noticed in the last video they had an exclamation point in a red circle. It was indicating that we have made change to the page and when I went to go close the software out it was going to ask me if I wanted to keep all the changes that I made to the pages. I simply click yes and then when we reboot the software all of those uh, exclamation points are gone and it's going to be simply displaying all the information here. So what we'll find is that we, uh, we're, we're going to have all of our pages essentially defined for a Megasquirt 2 or a Megasquirt 3. Now, the one thing I'm going to be pointing out here is that if we look down at the bottom, we have all of our channels list of all the, the log data from our Megasquirt 3 box. And if we're looking here, there is a lot more things that's logging. We actually can pan downwards and we see even more channels exposed here. So if we're looking at things such as our fuel pressure correction or fuel temperature correction, these channels aren't going to be existing in our Megasquirt uh, 2 or our Microsquirt applications. We're going to find they're only for Megasquirt 3. So depending on uh, what you're plotting in your windows, if let's say you're going in and using your fuel pressure compensation or correction here and you were uh, adding it to one of your windows, if you opened up a Megasquirt 2 data log, you'll find that the page is going to be showing you an exclamation point that's saying that that data is not available and you find that the channel is going to be zero. It's actually not going to be reading anything because the Megasquirt 2 does not have that channel even available to log as can be telling you there's some kind of an error there. So if you're working with Megasquirt 2s and Megasquirt 3s and you're going to be going back and forth and you've created your page templates up top here just as we found you want to add some more pages on, um, be prepared that you might have that error mesh that's going to be popping up. There's nothing actually wrong. It's just telling you that the channel is missing. So again, looking at all of the data here, um, we may want to go and have even more extensive uh, things added to our windows here under spark tuning. Um, we only went here and had our manifold air temp retard and knock retard.